hey guys welcome back so guys now in this video we are going to continue our edit and update data in code igniter so guys, let's get started with it so as you saw in previous video which we click on this edit so this edit data is happening right so all the data is fetched so now guys when we click on update button that time the data should get updated so guys, let's go to our vs code and start working on it so guys, as you can see that edit.php file we are on it and this is the form tag so inside this form tag we have a inputs where this is the first name last name phone and email and one submit button right where it is known as update and this is the for error handling which is for like validation of form so form validation is done so to access this one and all will be working so guys now first step let's go to our form action where we are going to open php and close the php well let's type echo where we are going to call this base url function to set the path and now what i will give is like when we click on this update what url should call so let us tell that employee forward slash update not capital let's make it small after this update we want to call the id over here so as you know we are calling this from previous video so if you don't understand please watch out the previous video about edit thing and then come back to this video update so then only you can understand how this data is coming over here so let me and link given it to description so guys now let's save this and i will just show you so let's reload the page and check the output so let's reload and i'll just inspect and show you the id over here in the form tag okay so here is the card body and this is the form action form so you can see that employee update right so this is the where id 1 is sent now right that's it so guys now let's call this and set so let us save and let's go to route and create a route for it so let's copy this and go to your route.php which is inside your config folder so inside the config folder route.php is available so now let's create a route route of array where inside this i'm going to call that url and if you pass anything id and all just call this any function okay so any means it will accept anything like alphabet numeric anything okay if you want if you are sure with that thing you can use num num so let's pass this only right now and you can call the controller so i have made already one controller and call that so let's paste it here and now what we have to do in this i am calling the employee controller where at edit not edit we will give to update where when i am sending this when we are going to update function that time i am passing the id whatever the parameters goes with it okay so as you can see that we have already one one id that same thing in this form action we are passing the id so we will take id from here and then update it so let's go to employee controller where it is front end so let me just arrange this and let's go to our controller where you can find that front end folder inside that employee controller so this is the code and now let's create a function to get update so let's type public function where the function name is not employee controller the function name which we created just now over here is update so let's copy this update and paste it over here and now let's open this and guys we have to give the code to for updating done so let us get started with that so dollar this of your model we have to call so dollar this load object of model where the model name will be as the model name we have created the model inside the applications folder where it is known as employee model so now let's call this employee model so copy this and call into your controller done so once this controller is called i mean the model has been called and let's load this data so dollar this of um, employee model which we have passed it so let's save 
so guys now we will call the function so let's tell as when we are going to update that so let's tell a update employee function so when you are going to pass this function so while updating you are sending one id as you see in the route you are sending this right dollar one so this dollar one is nothing but whatever we send the parameters or uh, ob whatever the details about it so let's copy this id and pass this over here so let's go to once you reach to employee model you are going to call the update employee so let's copy this function name with this employee id and let's create a function inside your model so for updating so let's create a function so public function where this model name will be there i mean update employee function will be called and now to give let's type the query to update the data so guys i'll just show you one example in your code igniter website so let's type here i mean let's go to data references over here we have a query builder class so let me go over there and we can search over here for updating it so you can see that inserting data updating data so let's click on it where you can follow up so guys updating data you are here and let's go little below where you can see that see here so some condition has been explained is very clearly and here the best one where is it okay so you are passing all the input fields and then you are searching with this where query and updating the data so instead of this also we can use one more method directly which is accessible where the condition is this so guys let's use this one and do the part so let's copy this and get back to code and paste it over here so now this dollar data from where you are getting from your parameter so let's pass this dollar data also so dollar data and while sending that data from where you will get this i'll just tell you but before this you are going to update with this id so let's call this id also over here in array format and then return this so dollar return and now guys this is table name so we already have the table name called employee so i'll just show you that this is our table name where we have created the employee table name so this thing only we are going to update it cool so guys now we have to check this data from where it is coming so let's copy this and get back to our employee controller where you'll be passing this data also over here and now so this data will access whatever the data of your input tags so guys let's create a variable called data where inside the array you are going to call your input tags so over here the first name second name from your edit form you are going to call first name last name phone number and email these four details you are going to call so we have done the same thing in our insert model so let's copy that only and paste it done so the the same thing so from here the input box detail you are going to call that all the things and store the correct order wise right so i mean to say first should be first name last name phone number email so this order database order also is first name last name phone number email so mention according to its order wise so it will be more easy to understand with it so as now everything is set now and let us check and one more thing which we are forgetting about form validation so as you see this form validation exception is given right so if you want you can include the form validation also and which is explained in insert uh, data which is done so let me copy this also form validation so let's copy that and you can paste it it's over here and now it's validated or not to check that you can call into this function use this function to check so this is the function where you are going to check with this so let's just solve that also and tell else oops let's give
and diff semicolon. So let's call this and paste over here. So once you done with that, you are going to redirect back to employee page, which is over here. So this is the URL you are going back. So let's copy that URL and paste that. So let's reuse the redirect function where I'm going to call this base underscore URL where the base URL will be employee set. So once everything if not here, you're going to cut this and paste after this. Once updated, you are going to set if else you are going to redirect back so redirect back means you are going to call this edit function so let's tell that also edit function so dollar this of edit function where inside this edit function you are going to call its id so let's call this id so dollar id set that's it so let's save this and uh, yep guys so let's update so i'm just going to first let us try with the validation part so let me keep empty and update it so we can see that first name is required you can see perfect thing right so guys now let us just update the data so let me just change the number from 555 to 999 and let's just click on update okay so updated you can see that 999 it is updated so let me change my name from ved to some other name where you can tell as funda of web it let's update this so let's click on update you can see funda of web it and guys now we are done with the updating part so guys now if you want to show the message also like when you are getting updated if you want to show the message so that video will be coming soon in next further videos about how to show the message after form submit so guys in this video that's it and let's continue in next video about how to delete this data and then confirm and deleting this data so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share